Hey guys, and welcome back to Taco Tuesday. Today we're gonna be going over a few modifications. Bumper covers, vinyl decal for the grill, floor mats, middle console organizer, glove box organizer. So one of the big things I was looking at with the truck is that inside of the bed, it's very slick. You put stuff in there and it slides around. So I wanted to go ahead and upgrade bed mats. So I went ahead and went with a factory Tacoma labeled ones. It looks super nice. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought it would be. You actually can put stuff in the back of the truck now so that nothing slides around. So the next upgrade is gonna be floor mats. The stock floor mats or carpet. I mean, they'll hold up fine, but I feel like I'm gonna get a lot more dirt and stuff going on in the truck and I probably can multi-purpose use the uh, old floor mats and some kind of camping situation as far as going around. So let's go ahead and replace the ones we have in there. Pretty basic carpet, nice decal, so I definitely repurposed these for sure. Yeah, I went ahead and went with WeatherTech style floor mats with a Tacoma decal in there. These seem to just have a nice stock factory Tacoma look, and I like that way it looks. Uh, nice and deep. Definitely got a couple fingers in there, so any kind of dust or anything like that is gonna fall right into that thing. They're just kind of snapped in right here. So for the back seat, uh, there's only small little pieces here, which isn't so great. The new one comes in in one big piece. Floor mat now goes all the way across the middle console, which is pretty awesome. So nothing comes off your shoes anywhere, even sliding across. It's gonna fall on the carpet, fall into this. I'll be able to easily pull that out, shake it out, and not have any worries about shelling anybody or anything being dirty in the back seat of the truck. The next upgrade that we're actually gonna install is gonna be a recommendation of one of the subscribers, Sir Wybra. Here's the comment. So we're gonna go ahead and do what he recommended as far as in going with some bumper covers. So what we got here is a bumper cover. It's easy snap in backing here. Loosen a couple boats, pop pins, pop this on it. Let's get it installed. So pretty simple, all you need is a flathead screwdriver. We're gonna go in here and pop off these rivets here. They're gonna be in here, there's three of them. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the backing off of the back of this thing. So I wanna go ahead and pop the cover up on this. So this piece has got some lips on it and I wanna go ahead and slide underneath the edge before I pop on the rest of it where the tape's at. So with just a little bit of finagling there, I went ahead and got this to pop into place under here without taking anything off. The backing is peeled off of all of it already. Everything lines up nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these pins back in. Uh, I would say it looks pretty clean. So you can see the chrome bumper versus the blacked out bumper just matches the scheme of the truck a lot better. Everything just looks so much smoother now. So the grill comes uh, just with a gray cover and I wanna switch that to white because I really like the way the white pops off of the black. Let's go and see what we can do about changing that. I ordered something off Amazon and this is not how regular decals go, it's not how my other side decal went. The only thing you're really gonna need to do this install is just a basic card and jump in there. They gave you an extra T because obviously they think you're gonna mess one up. Well, let's just go ahead and jump through it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So with the O, I'm actually gonna grab both sides of the letter at the same time and see if I just can't place center and hold my hands together as best as possible. How's it looking so far? You guys are starting to see it, it's coming together. I think small customizations like this are really what sets your truck apart and makes it your own. So I think everybody should do some type of mods to really set their truck apart from everybody else. That one, that one went on real smooth. And there we have it. The old grill to the new grill. Now we're gonna move on to the inside of the truck and we're gonna get on the middle console organizer. All right, so here is the basic one. That's going to just drop right in this way. Here we go, drop right in. Full. So we gotta get the other stuff out that's in here. So the directions on here, they're, they're labeled here. One says front, front, up, up. So pretty simple. So now we're gonna put our stuff back into the console. So phone charger's pretty clutch. So then this drops in here. Now I've got a nice organized console. Super helpful. Let's move on to the glove box. So now we're in the passenger seat and we're gonna look at the glove box. As you can see, the glove box is full of all kinds of stuff. And we wanna get that more organized. So we're gonna fix this problem right here of all this stuff. 
and get a console organizer. So let's get all this stuff out first. I don't know what some of this stuff even is. What do we have to organize the glove box? OCD organizer again. There we go. Now we got an organized glove box. So that's gonna conclude today's Tacoma Tuesday. I hope you enjoy everything. Down below, make any other recommendations because we're really looking at still finding something to go onto the camper top here. And then a bike rack situation. I still haven't figured out a pad or a bike rack that I'm really set on. Like, comment, subscribe. Come back next Tuesday. Make sure you hit the notification bell. We'll see you on the next Taco Tuesday. Thanks for coming out.